online, to be honest with you. They did such an elaborate job of covering it up and making sure I didn't find out, and when I did find out, it was beyond anything I've ever experienced. How does it feel uh, getting that after working so hard to, to get it to this level? Um, at first, I felt relief, and then the next thing that came to my mind was my next step, you know, my, where I'm going next with my definite dream, like the NFL. So. Could you go, go through how uh, your military background, how you tried to get into the service? Yeah, um, so I grew up on a ranch in South Dakota. Um, I did all the sports in high school. I wasn't too interested in them because about my sophomore year of high school, I decided that I was going to join the military. And I was committed to it. I was training for it since then. I had one of my best friends from high school. We were both going to join together. And my senior year in about January, so coming up on the end of my, se or my senior year, I was getting processed to actually be enlisted in the military. And I was going to be in a delayed entry program until I shipped out. And while I was getting processed, um, about halfway through the day, I we were doing like all our medical stuff. And I did my hearing test, and I was doing something else. They pulled me out and said that I failed my hearing test. So I had to go see a doctor to check my ears, see if they're clean and stuff. Took it again, failed it again, and then they sent me home. So then I had to kind of rework my plan, and I ended up talking with Coach Clays, who was the head coach here at the time. I called him on the phone, had a nice long conversation with him, and at the end of that conversation, he offered me a preferred walk-on spot, and that's how I ended up here. How many people have you heard from since? That video kind of went viral. <laughs> um, almost everyone that I know. There's, I've usually the only text on my phone is from my mom and my girlfriend. It's been kind of overwhelming since then. What brings you to military? What's that? What brings you to military? Um, when I started out of high school, I was going uh, Marine, um, Marines, and a recon contract. And then I was talking. I talked to some Navy guys and a bunch of other people, and they kind of talked me into the whole SEAL thing. Since then, I've been. I've, I tried to get into the SEALs for a while. I never seen that before. Kicked out of the process. The You're a state champion wrestler. What what does that do for you in football? Oh, well, the biggest thing I talked about that right when I committed here. Um, I would say the biggest thing is um, if you're a wrestler, you gotta have heart. That's where I got a lot of my heart from, a lot of my a lot of my guts. And technically speaking, I would say up close and personal with people. I'm good with my hands and leverages and stuff like that. And kind of manipulate people. What's your question?